guys welcome back to my channel it's me cat and i am here with two different colors of purple in my hair i wanted to do a test dye of um, what color purple i wanted to do and i like both of them so now i don't know if i want to do like a split dye or like an ombre where i do pieces throughout my hair alternating. I think I'm gonna do that because I did a red base purple. This is Lime Crime and it's a little more pastel. And then I did Manic Panics Ultraviolet, which is a blue based purple. And I wasn't sure because I thought this was green left in my hair, but my hair is just slightly over processed and I uh, I didn't know how the green was going to look underneath the purple, but it's not really green. It's just over-processed. Um, so it looks fine, basically. And so, yeah, that is the next color because, um, yeah, I was I actually looked into how bad box dye is. Like, I always knew it wasn't the best, but when I really looked into why it's not, it's because you don't know the, um, the level of developer that you're putting in the... Um, sorry, my cats are just are being bad. Um, you don't know the developer level they're putting in there so they could be putting um 40 developer and really strong crap in your hair and you're destroying it basically so this is manic panic and lime crime and i will be uh completely purple probably the next video you see i plan to do that tomorrow night is my uh big plans to stay in and do the sectioning so that's going to take a while because I have such freaking thick coarse hair and my hair is so dry that it basically just sucked up the pigment and when I washed it out not that much um came out so that also lets me know how damaged my hair really is so it's time to cut it off but this video isn't about me dyeing my hair purple um what we are going to be going over today is I got the wired palette from Urban Decay. So this is the outer packaging and that's just what it looks like closed. And then, which I do like the packaging. And then when you take it out of the box, I love this. It's just a basic matte black box and then you have these plastic raised letters and I just think it's cute because it's the colors that are in the palette and it's just basic and I like it. It is cruelty free as all Urban Decay products are and then when you open it this one does not come with a brush but you do get a nice big mirror and then this is the colors. This is a see-through plastic and then these are the um pressed pigments uh, that are for face and body you can put them on your eyes if you're not um sensitive but they're not eye recommended and then these are the eye shadows so you get a white mat um these are all basically mats you have like two kind of oops sorry blinding you guys there you have two satiny colors but these are, this is this is basically a matte um, rainbow palette. And we are going to compare it to, because everyone is wondering, is this the, um, you know, rebirth of the electric palette? Is it the electric palette 2.0? Is it the sister to the electric palette? So I pulled mine out. This is the first really colorful eyeshadow palette that I bought. And when you open this one up, you get a mix of shimmers and um, mattes. And you do have a repeat of some colors um, that are in this palette and that are in the wired palette. I know the matte purple, um, not the matte purple, the matte pink savage is um, one of the colors, slow burn, which looks like it's 
they changed the color a little bit. So in this packaging, this is Slow Burn. Um, this is the Pink Savage. So that's the Savage color. Then Slow Burn is right there in the palette. And Chaos, which is this matte um blue right here i love this matte blue that is um the other um exact color then the other colors are um like thrash is um this color thrash is the color jolt so they're both that kind of chartreusey color um Gravity and I guess Urban are kind of the same, but Urban is a shimmer and Gravity is a matte. So in this palette, you only have two real mattes or three mural mattes. Well, no, Gonzo has like this pearl shimmer in it. You only have two true mattes, Chaos and Savage. So this blue and this pink. So those are the only two um, mattes in this palette, but in this palette, the pressed pigments are, let me look in my notes, um, Gravity, the, um, the Rich Purple Shimmer, Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong colors. Okay, um, sorry. Um, the colors for face and body are Slow Burn, Savage, and Jilted. So, Jilted is the bright metallic fuchsia with, um, blue shift. So, this color, um, Savage, the matte hot pink, and Jilted... Savage, and Slow Burn, and Slow Burn is this matte-looking orange. So we will do swatches. Um, the first thing that I kind of wish that, I wish this was, oh no, there's, sorry, I messed up. There are two shimmers in this, or one shimmer looking and then one that's like a satin looking shimmer then you have um slow burn which actually no they do look the same they both have that pearl finish that picture for some reason the color was off but yeah and gravity is i can't tell if it's a matte or a shimmer I haven't swatched it i haven't used this palette at all so this is first impressions so let's um, swatch each palette, and the one thing I wish they didn't do, what it says um, in the description, that they put this white in here to turn these into pastels, and I know pastels are kind of on trend right now, so that's why they might have did that, but I kind of wish... They did either like a duochrome or a metallic silver or a white shimmer. Just I wish they wouldn't have done this white matte because you can, everyone has a white matte. I just wish they would have done like they did in the electric palette where they had that silver shimmer or put a like white, um, pink duochrome, something like that, um, but yeah, we'll swatch these up. Um, this palette is old. I probably should be getting rid of this soon. I do want to dupe the colors out and kind of remake my own electric palette. And maybe I'll show you guys what um, it's going to be with all ColourPop shadows. Because I know ColourPop has all of these. And maybe bring in, like, for the two pressed pigments, bring in... Um, uh, bring in like a uh, colored rain press pigment or something. But yeah, the um, pigmentation and um, power of the shadows might not be the best because it's been a while since I've used this. But um, yeah, the last time I used it, it looked good on the eyes, but it has been a while since I've used this. So let's put these two side by side so you guys can see and I'll 
I don't want to drop these, so this is, okay, okay, there we go. So this is the original, and this is the wired, and let's see if it's as good quality as Urban Decay uh, used to make. Um, hearing mixed reviews, I tried to kind of not really watch reviews on it because I don't want to be swayed either way before I try it out. Alright, so we're going to do the wired palette first. So, um, the pressed pigments, Savage, Gravity, Slow Burn, and Switch. So, Slow Burn, Savage, Gravity, and Switch. Okay, so that purple is a satin. It's not quite a matte, and it does have some sheen. And Slow Burn is a matte with um, silver micro shimmer in it. And twi Switch and uh, Savage. I'm thinking of another uh, pressed pigment palette. Um, so, okay, so that's Slow Burn. It is a matte with micro shimmer. That is Savage, just a straight-up matte pink. Um... We have um, the Gravity, a rich purple shimmer, and um, Slow Burn they have as a red-orange satin matte. Switch is a tangerine matte, Savage a matte neon pink, and Gravity is a rich purple shimmer. Okay, so those are the pressed pigments in the Wired palette. Okay, now we're going to do the face and body, shock, chaos, and glitch. So glitch is the pure white matte. Um, chaos is a matte blue. And then shock is like a light lilac matte color. Okay, so we have Glitch, the matte pure white. Um, we have Chaos, a satin matte bright indigo, so that's Chaos. Um, we have Shock, a satin matte lilac, that is Shock. We have... Okay, so those are the next three, and then these are the last three, Jolt, Current, and Fluorescent. Jolt, current, fluorescent. Jolt, current. Okay. So fluorescent is a pale turquoise matte. That is it right there, kind of that Tiffany's blue. Then current is right there. That is the only metallic. That is a um, Kelly Green metallic. And then jolt, which is kind of hard to... There you go. Which is that chartreuse-y um, neon lime satin matte is how they describe it. Okay, so the cost of this palette, the wired palette, you get... Um, 10 pans for $39, so that means it is $3.90 per pan. You get 1.5 grams per pan, which is awesome, you, which is 0 0.04 ounces. So you get a total of 12 grams and 0 0.4 ounces, and that breaks down to $120 per gram or $4 per ounce, and this is cruelty-free. So this is the wired palette, and now I will swatch the electric palette, and I will do one look on my eye with the um, just the wired palette, and then one look on my eye with just the um, using the wired and the electric to because I've heard from a lot of people the two palettes play off nicely together. A lot of people are kind of. Um, saying that they 
from the few videos I've seen, they think that the, and I agree that the electric palette is kind of like a supplementary palette for most people. You could get looks out of this with the palette, but for some people, they would want to pull other things in because like most people, they don't want to wear this much color. I just love color. So, but I get it. Some people, it's scary to walk out of the house with, you know, bright lime green eyes. Okay, so with the electric palette, you get the same thing, 10 pans, 1.2 grams, so 12 grams per uh, total, and um, 0 0.04 ounces um, per pan, which is point zero point four ounces total um so you would end up paying a hundred and twenty dollars per gram or four dollars per pan and um this was forty nine dollars back in the day which means it was four ninety per pan sorry i'm looking down at my notes so um ten dollar difference between them um, I do love the brush that came with this. I kind of wish they gave us another brush like that in the palette because when they did the After Dark palette, that brush in there, I love that brush, and it they put it in the After Dark palette, and I like that brush too. So I wish they gave us another one of those um, double-ended brushes. That's a brush that like everyone I know actually uses that brush. Okay, let me swatch. So the colors that are the um, pigments is Slow Burn, um, Savage, oh, these are swatching pretty good, um, and Slow Burn, Savage, and Jilted. Oops, a little close there with the last one. So this is the pressed pigments from the electric palette. So Slow Burn and Savage look the same. There's no um, exact color in here. Well, that purple, the shimmer, is kind of like it. This is actually, no, that's a little duochrome because they have jilted as a bright metallic fuchsia with blue shift and it does have that and then that's a matte um bright pink and then a satin um or they have it written down as a bright red orange matte with floating pearls okay um yeah it does have micro shimmer you can kind of see how the formula has gotten better because the shimmer doesn't go flying in this one. In this one, you could see the shimmer kind of dispersed with the swatch. So it's kind of cool to see how the formulas have gotten better in, you know, what ways. All right, so now we're going to do the regular shadows. So Revolt is the bright metallic silver shimmer with silver glitter. I'm looking down at my notes. So this is Revolt. Yeah, I kind of wish they had done, like, a bright, fun metallic like that in the other palette versus the white. Then the next color is Gonzo, a bright turquoise matte with floating pearl. Gonzo. So that's Gonzo. <clears throat> And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Fringe, a bright metallic teal. Where's Fringe? That's Fringe. That's pretty. That's Fringe, a bright metallic teal. There isn't really any color. That's more turquoise. Um, okay, then we have Urban, a bright metallic purple. This kind of looks like the purple that's in the other palette. Yeah. So 
There we go. So that's Urban from the Electric palette. Then we have Freak, a bright green with gold, a bright, yeah, bit bright green with gold shift. Freak. So that's pretty. Almost. It's those two blues that are in here. They're like right in between what this is. Um, so I can definitely see already how those two palettes are going to play really well with each other. Um, then we have Thrash, a bright matte lime green with floating pearl. And I forgot one. So that is pretty much the same as Jolt. I feel like... It's just a tad bit brighter on this one. Um, I forgot one color in the pigments, the matte blue, um, wrong hand. The matte blue chaos is actually part of the pressed pigments. I forgot to put that in. That's really pretty. So those are similar too. So that is the... The wired palette versus the electric palette. So I'm going to prime my eyes and we will do one look using just the wired palette and then one look using the wired and the electric palette to see how nice they would play off each other. So um, I will be right back with my eyes primed and we will do um, a look from each palette. So yes, I will see you guys in a second.